In January 2013, Canadian tourist Elisa Lam went missing while she was staying at the infamous Cecil Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. According to multiple reports, the Cecil Hotel is known for its sordid reputation and its countless violent deaths. Lam, a college student, was traveling alone and had been contacting her parents daily about her trip. When she failed to check in, her concerned parents contacted the Los Angeles Police Department to determine what had happened. Though the police searched the Cecil Hotel, no trace of Lam was found. Shortly after, they released security footage of Lamb displaying bizarre behavior in the hotel's elevator, which was also the last time she was seen. At the same time, the Cecil's guests were complaining about low water pressure and a weird odor coming from the sink taps. As explored at length in Netflix's crime scene, The Vanishing at the Cecil Hotel, when a maintenance worker went to check on the roof's water tanks to solve the issue, they found Lamb's decomposing body. The LAPD is not calling this a homicide right now. Investigators are still calling this a suspicious death. It had been 19 days since Lamb went missing, and although the roof had been searched by police, they failed to open the water tank. Initially, the mystery surrounded how Lamb managed to get inside the water tanks, which were 10 feet high and had a working alarm system. To get her body out, the Los Angeles Fire Department had to drain the tank and cut it open from the side. Lamb was nude and her clothes were floating beside her. No one knows how she was able to get inside the tank. Before her disappearance, Elisa Lamb had reportedly been acting strangely. She'd been staying in a shared hostel-like room and her roommates had complained about her odd behavior. As a result, she was moved to a private room. Lamb had a history of mental illness and was previously diagnosed with bipolar disorder and depression. Although the Los Angeles County coroner ruled her death as undetermined, that quickly changed. According to Heavy, Lamb's autopsy report now states that she died due to accidental drowning, and her bipolar disorder is listed as a contributing factor. She had no internal or external injuries and had not been sexually assaulted. In addition, there was no alcohol or illegal drugs in her system. However, reports reveal that barely any medication from Lamb's bipolar disorder was found in a limited sample of her blood. It's believed that Lamb had not been taking her medication properly, which could have caused psychotic effects. Lamb's sister even revealed that Elisa sometimes became paranoid and believed she was being followed. No trauma was found on Lamb's body, and foul play was ruled out. However, even with this conclusion, several questions still remain about Lamb's mystifying death. There are several theories regarding Lamb's death, the most plausible being that she committed suicide. However, many people still seem to believe that Lamb's death was related to the supernatural. Built in 1924, the Cecil is rumored to be haunted. A&E writes that there have been 18 documented deaths at the hotel, including murders and suicides. Because Lamb was acting strangely prior to her death and footage of her in the hotel's elevator went viral, many believe that Lamb might have been possessed. Lamb's behavior in the infamous video has led to theories that she played the elevator game. Per Pop Sugar, this game has origins in Asia and is a ritual that can purportedly transport you into a new dimension by pressing elevator buttons in a specific sequence. This theory took off when footage emerged of Lamb frantically pressing the buttons on the elevator while looking distressed. If she was indeed playing this game, some believe she summoned some otherworldly spirit that ultimately caused her downfall. Others have noticed the uncanny similarities between Lamb's death and the 2005 horror movie Dark Water, which is based on the 2002 Japanese film of the same name. The film's plot involves the death of a girl on a water tower and is nearly identical to Lamb's own death. Others believe Lamb's death is connected to a tuberculosis outbreak that occurred on Skid Row around the same time she disappeared. Oddly, the test given to determine if someone has tuberculosis is called a lipoarabinomonim enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, or Lamb elisa As for what really happened that night, we will sadly never know for sure. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, please contact the Crisis Text Line by texting HOME to 741-741. Call the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline at 1-800-950-NAMI-6264 or visit the National Institute of Mental Health website.